Hello, it's Simon Zucci here. I'm the author of Property Magic, the Amazon number one property bestseller, and also I'm the founder of the Property Investors Network, which is the largest network of property meetings around the UK designed to help you become a more successful investor. Now, in this short video, I'd like to explain to you the concept about buying from motivated sellers. The reason you do that is because a motivated seller is far more flexible on the price and or the terms of the sale. You see, these people, for them, the speed and certainty of the sale is more important than the amount of money they get. So what exactly is a motivated seller? How do we find them? And how can we actually do it in an ethical win-win manner? That's what we're gonna teach you in this video. So, we always like to buy property from people who need to sell. They've got some sort of property problem. And in a way, we're property problem solvers. If we solve someone's problem, we get financially rewarded. So we want to specifically look for people who've got a challenge. And using our specialist knowledge, we can potentially solve that problem for them. Now, it is really important to understand we're not looking to take advantage of people at all. Far from it. We're really looking for a solution to solve their problem that works for both of us. Now, there are many different reasons why someone might be motivated. Um, they could be in financial difficulty. Maybe they're about to get repossessed. That's just one of many reasons. Uh, maybe they're looking to sell a property because they're relocating or they're emigrating or they fall in love, they've moved them with someone, they've got a spare property, they just don't want and they don't want to be a landlord. Or maybe they've inherited a property. So there are so many different reasons why someone's got this problem property they just want to get rid of. Maybe they've had bad tenants, they've been a landlord or they're retiring, they're a tired landlord and they're just fed up. So we find these people by actively marketing. We don't really go to estate agents or auctions. Instead, we market and advertise through leaflets, newspapers, word of mouth, and we attract sellers to us. So we look for the sellers and then we understand if the property they've got is one that we want to buy. If we're not interested, maybe we can pass it to another investor for a fee. Now, typically we can buy properties at a big discount or we can get people to be very flexible where we might take over the properties on what's called a purchase lease option. And I'll talk to you about that strategy in another one of these videos. But for the moment, let's just think about motivated sellers. And let's look at someone who may be in financial difficulty. Now, I'm sure as an investor, you've thought about buying a repossessed property. Why would you do that? Well, probably because it's going to be cheaper than a normal property. And I'm sure you've seen repossessed properties normally sold by estate agents and auctions. And often they're a little bit damaged because the owners kind of moved out and caused a bit of damage on the way out. So how about if we could find someone who's about to get repossessed and instead of them getting repossessed, give them an offer where they actually walk away with some money in their pocket rather than feel bitter and twisted and trash the property. So that's what we call a win-win. So let me explain the scenario. So let's say a property is worth a hundred thousand pounds and someone's got a mortgage on it of maybe seventy thousand and that includes the arrears and for whatever reason they've got into difficulty and they can't afford to pay the mortgage now what happens is if you don't pay the mortgage the bank the lender will start writing to you and say look you really must pay the mortgage eventually they'll take you to court and at the court hearing they'll say why can't you pay and explain to the judge what's happened and the judge will normally say right you've got 28 days to sort your act out and work out how you're going to pay this mortgage 28 days later they go back for a second court hearing if the owner doesn't have a solution to the problem at that point they'll usually grant um, custody back to the mortgage company who will set a date the, the uh, bailiff will come in you'll get evicted you might get relocated by someone by the council maybe somewhere um, and then they'll sell the property and they'll usually sell it at a discount so Imagine a property is worth 100,000. How much would you like to pay as an investor buying a repossessed property? Well, you want to make a profit. You normally have to spend some money doing it up. So most investors would probably look to pay, let's say, 75,000 pounds. Now, here's the problem for the owner. The process of taking the owner to court a couple of times for the bailiffs, for the estate agent to sell the property, that all has cost. And that cost will be added to the loan. So let's say the original mortgage and the arrears were 70,000. You might add as much as maybe 10,000 onto the costs, which means the mortgage might suddenly be, or the total debt might be 80,000 pounds. Now, if the property is sold on the open market for 75,000, that means there's a shortfall, in this case, minus 5,000 pounds. And the owner can be pursued for that 5,000 pounds for up to 12 years. 
So a lot of people who are in financial difficulty might think, I'll just throw the keys in, get repossessed, and that'll be the end of it. That's just the start of the problems. They get a ruined credit rating, and they could be pursued for this money for many, many years. What if we could give them an alternative solution? What if we could find these people before they get repossessed, where the debt is only 70000 and if we can help them before they get taken to court, before they get the cost of the bailiffs and estate agents, so actually the cost is 70000 If we could buy for seventy five, the same price that we'd pay when the property is repossessed, instead of the owner being in debt to the tune of 5000 they might have a solution where actually they walk out with £5,000 cash in their pocket and their credit rating won't be as bad as if they're actually repossessed. So in other words, they've got a much better chance of starting again. So that's what I call an ethical win-win. So the key is first of all to, to find people like this. And remember, financial difficulties is just one of the many reasons why someone will be motivated to sell. You might have someone who's a really successful business person, for example, and they've got a business and they've invested their profits in property over a number of years. And maybe something happens to their business. So maybe some of their key clients go out of business or they've got a big VAT return and they need to get some money quickly. And they recognize by selling some of their existing property at a discount will give them the cash they need quickly to get them out of the problem they're in. Or maybe they've got a huge opportunity and they want to invest in that opportunity or make a lot more money than the property would make them. So it's not always people who are in financial difficulty who are motivated. It's all about finding people, showing that we can help them, genuinely trying to help these people first. And I believe if you help other people, give them what they want, it's far more likely for you to get what you want. So once you find these people, you need to know how to speak to them, how to help them understand that we can help them, to give you the information you need to find the right solution. Then finally, you need a whole different array of solutions because everyone's gonna be different. And if you take the right tool to solve their problem, it's far more likely that they'll get the solution they need and you'll get financially rewarded for that as well. So that, in a nutshell, is how we find motivated sellers. If you want to find out more, we do a number of courses that might teach you how to find these people, how to ethically deal with them, and a number of different solutions to solve their problems. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video.